Today on the channel, he has spoken. We unbox Quill from the Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and most importantly, welcome back to the channel as we continue our Star Wars Black Series uh, unboxings of the Mandalorian figures. And today, we're unboxing Quill. And for all your Star Wars Black Series needs, hit up Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below. Quill is probably my most wanted Mandalorian figure in the Star Wars Black Series line. I love big figures, I love people with masks, aliens, face painted people, and I love little people as well. Uh, put that in a quote, Kyle loves little people, but I do. I love little figures like this and the Ugnaughts, I remember having a, tons of them as a kid. Um, throughout the years I've had different Ugnaught figures, so I'm happy to finally get our first ever Black Series Ugnaught figure. And that is Quill from The Mandalorian. He has spoken, I don't know if you're aware of that or not, but he told us that a million times in season one. Uh, but Quill is a really cool character and a really cool figure already. I love these little figures like this. And I hope we see more of them. I think this gives us a little bit of hope maybe for an Ugnaughts pack down the line from the original movies. It just makes sense. They got the body mold for it now. You'd think they would have some uh, repaints and some reuse of this. They're not going to make a one and done, uh, I wouldn't think. So we'll probably get some Ugnaughts in our future, maybe 2021 if we're lucky. But really cool to get a small figure. I love it whenever we get a new body style, a body size stuff like that so without further ado let's take first a look at the packaging on this one traditional black series we've been accustomed to uh, in the back half of 2020 as we uh, all know they switched the packaging this year love the orange down there the mandalorian says quill's name down there below star wars black series up there at the top you got the figure he's got his little blaster rifle there you got hasbro the ages the warnings all that fun stuff right there on the bottom nothing on the top nothing on the side Legal fun down there, and then the crazy awesome uh, artistic work there on the side. As you guys know, you can line them all up. Nice little mural of all the figures. I really, really like that. I love the orange for the Mandalorian. You can always see that on the store shelves. If you're lucky enough to find them on the shelves these days, it seems to be harder and harder with Star Wars. We talk a lot on the channel about turtle anxiety. Well, the new one is Star Wars anxiety. I think it has uh, replaced turtle anxiety. As Star Wars is an all-time high... Uh, figures flying off the shelf more than ever before. It's just crazy. But it's good for us collectors because we all enjoy it, and that means more figures, uh, and it should be more uh, you know, peg spots and everything else. You would think in theory. It doesn't always happen that way, though. Uh, and there's the back, that same picture of Quill there, a little blurb that we love. We'll read that in a second. Star Wars, a bunch of legal stuff down here that nobody really cares about. I don't know. It's all for legal reasons. Let's read the back first. Quill, a vapor... Farmer on Av Arvala 7. You guys are going to love these Star Wars reviews. I'm doing a new Star Wars review every single day in 2021. That is my goal. I'm going to try to stick to it. There's going to be a Star Wars unboxing at least every single day as a bonus video. We'll see if I can do it. It's a chart that nobody's ever done. Has anybody ever done this before? I don't know. But why I'm saying that is, as we all know Star Wars, there are some interesting character names out there. How many can Kyle correctly pronounce? Maybe every time I mess up, you take a little shot. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Quill came to seek peace in and out of the way world, which is now being trespassed upon by criminals and mercenaries. He has worked a lifetime to be free of servitude and offers valuable skills for those willing to meet his price. So there you go. There's a little, little blurb. And you guys know I love those blurbs on the back of the package. Give us a little something about the character. Invest in what we're buying. Uh, because there are people out there that buy and don't know about the character. They want at least a little starting point, And that's where the back of the box works. I would also like to see one thing I think is missing from these, uh, a picture of the other ones on there. But put it somewhere. Uh, there's got to be a way. Collect everybody in the series. Put a really small picture down there. Something like that. A checklist for the novice out there. Uh, I just think that makes a lot of sense. And I think it's a missed opportunity between many aligns these days. But without further ado, let's open up old Quill. I uh, got the razor blade. I've always found opening these new black series by the bottom of the package is the way to go. If you can cut the tape. Maybe my razor blade's getting a little dull. I don't know. Open it up here. There it is. Slides right out real easy. See you later. See you later. Let's have a party. 
All right, there he is. I'm taking a look. I have not encountered many issues with paint as far as the Star Wars Black Series figures over the last few years. Uh, they've done a tremendous job on quality control. A few uh, foot issues, ankle issues every once in a blue moon, but we talk a lot about WWE Elite figures by Mattel. A lot of paint issues with those. AEW Jazzwares figures, some issues with those. Once in a blue moon, a Marvel Legend issue, but Star Wars, they seem to got that right. Um, so good for them. Small figure, he's got his little... Uh, gun down there. I don't even know what you call that gun. I'm sure it has a name. But uh, I love this figure already. Can't wait to open him up here. Let's pop him out. First we gotta see you later. Oh, there it is. It's a little figure. We're not talking child little, but it's definitely a, a smaller figure. I don't know. I don't know how big an Ugnaught is in actual scale. Are they four feet, four to five feet tall? Probably somewhere around there. Really creepy looking dudes, but obviously Quill was a cool one. He was he was a good one. He had a heart of gold. He was there to help our friend the Mandalorian. Where some of these other ones, they're all about getting, you know, Han Solo and Carbonite, doing all kinds of bad things, but not Quill. He was a good guy. Um, but there he is. Look at that. He's got his little scarf on him. He's got his gloves, nice orange, brown, all the typical Black Series articulation. I really like this scarf on him. It looks like it's almost made out of like straw. It's not straw, but whatever that material is, it is very, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the material would be called, but it's very wiry. Uh, but it really comes through when you look at it close with the different lines and everything else of the sculpt. Um, the orange shirt he's got underneath also has some detail on the sculpt there. It's kind of, I don't know about ribbed, but it's got a raise to it. So there's some sculpt to that. I like that a lot. Uh, then he's got a backpack, and the backpack... Looks like everything, the, the scarf and the backpack would be removable if you popped his head off. Uh, I'm not going to pop his head off here. Um, it's not technically removable, but it is removable, you guys know. Sometimes you put a little heat on it with a gun or uh, put him in spot water, you can pop that head off if you really need to. It's got two trigger fingers. I don't know about this gun. Very similar to the Mando long gun. Very hard to hold because there's, no, like, uh, there's no handle to it. It's a really weird... I guess he shoots it kind of like a sawed-off shotgun, I guess. Let's see if I can get that in. Let's see here. Come on, work with me, Quill. He's not. He's not working with me here. Boy, that's a that's a tough one, but I think I got it. Yep, I did. So, I don't know. I don't know. I, do you like to display your gun like that? It's kind of like a sawed-off shotgun, I guess. I mean, it's all right. And I'm going to definitely put it in his hand because I don't like having a ton of accessories and bags and stuff. Uh, unless there was a holster on his back, which there is not. But I like to keep as many accessories with the actual figure on display. Just, you know, it helps you not lose stuff at the end of the day. Um, his helmet does come off. That is a really cool feature. And that's going to be a good one for customizers out there. And you can display him without. Uh, I can see people customizing him into a traditional Ugnaught. Uh, kind of the flyboy. Reminds me of a little launch pad from DuckTales is what this reminds me of. You know, uh, the classic launch pad. I need a launch pad figure in my collection. Many a time with DuckTales as a, a young Kyle. Uh, but a very, very solid figure. I like this one a whole lot. Let me grab a ringside stand. Let's see, does he fit on a stand? I gotta think he will. But now that I say that, he probably won't. Oh, he does. Fits like butter. There it is. I always say it. I say it in all my videos. Spend your money on your figures, not on your display stands. Pick these up real cheap uh, from Ringside Collectibles. Tell them old Kyle Peterson sent you. Say, hey, Kyle sent me here to get these display stands. Um, but I like this figure. This is a slam dunk. Uh, I'm not sure if it's my favorite one in the Mandalorian set, but it's actually up there. I said at the beginning of this episode, I like smaller figures. Uh, the smaller, the better sometimes. The child might be too small where I count him as an accessory, but this is a small figure. and It's something different. It's something we don't get every single day. Uh, I would love to see the Black Series do more small characters like the Ugnaughts and stuff. Some of the crazier uh, aliens out there and stuff. I know that is tough, though, because if they don't have a name and people have never seen them and they were only in the movie for 10 seconds, it might create a peg warmer uh, instance there. But there's got to be a way to get those kind of characters out there, just like they did with the old school ones uh, back in the day. I know the $20 price point's a lot to ask for a guy that only saw you know 10 seconds of screen time. Um, but we'll see. But it's a step in the right direction. I like Quill. Obviously, he's a main character. He deserved a figure. We got his figure here in 2020. Um, but we'll see. We'll see where it goes from there. But definitely a solid piece. Hopefully, you guys can find this set. I know it's being difficult right now. Big Bad Toy Store, hit them up. You can probably uh, get them in there and uh, save yourself some hunting. Uh, that is for sure. But you guys tell me in the comments, did you pick this one up? 
Do you like this one? Are you past it on this one? You guys tell me. Uh, I think it's a must-have, especially if you have a Mandalorian collection. You've got to have this one. You cannot not have this one. Uh, that's my opinion right there. So uh, for scale-wise, here, here's the old Beskar armor right there next to him. So you can see that scale difference there. Pretty, uh, pretty good. I think that's about right. Looks good to me. So you guys tell me in the comments if you pick this one up, your thoughts on our boy Quill. Don't forget to like the video. You're already here. You might as well get that done. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. I'm putting out videos every single day. And like I said, my plan is a Star Wars unboxing every single day as a bonus in 2021. Uh, no sleep for this guy. Uh, between work and YouTube, boy, I'm a busy, busy man. But doing it all out there, helping you guys out, showing you guys some stuff. And uh, it is what it is. So... For my boy Quill and the Mandalorian who popped in at the very end, I'm Kyle. I'm going to see you guys all real soon.